Good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, this is Lou Ant on Blackberry Rock Homestead. I am sorry about that. I'm trying to fix it where y'all can see in my bowl. Not working very well. Um, trying to make it better where you can see. I kind of got a makeshift um, tripod here. Well, anyway, I am in the ultimate cookie collab that CNC Farms is doing, and I am making oatmeal cookies. Uh, Granny's oatmeal cookies. This is out of an old cookbook. Um, so let's go ahead and start this. We need a cup of Weston oil. Sorry about the ding there. I didn't mean to do that. A cup of brown sugar, and I may not have a cup of brown sugar here. I don't know. I'm a little short on my brown sugar, there, so we'll do that. I'm scraping my bowl into my jar that I have my brown sugar in. Um, so, a cup of brown sugar, we need to add a cup of white sugar, and get that real quick. I like to have a fourth a cup of measurements in my sugars in all my uh, jarred stuff. Try to put everything in jars, but... And we need, um, we need to put our eggs, two eggs. And I always crack my eggs in a container before I put them in there because I have farm fresh eggs. Hope you can see all that. So there is our eggs. And then we need a pinch of salt. And I'm using kosher salt, pinch of salt. And then we need to add our vanilla. I have figured out what I did with my measuring spoons. I just had them out of here. Um, we need to add a half a teaspoon of vanilla. Oop. Let's see. What did I do with them? Oh, they're there. Half a teaspoon of vanilla. Yep. Okay. And now I'm going to take this over there to my mixer and get it mixed up. And I'll be right back with you because we've got to mix up our dry ingredients. We need to add our dry ingredients. Um, we will be using a cup and a half of enriched flour. And like I said, I like doing a fourth a cup of in my all my little mixtures. Now we need a teaspoon of baking soda that we need to add to this my baking soda we need also a teaspoon of cinnamon to that so there is that we're going to mix that together before we go and move it to our mixer So I'm going to go add this to our mix. Now I'm adding our dry ingredients to our mixer here. I'm trying not to drop the bowl, my glass bowl, and not to break it. I'm going to do a lot of that sometimes. So I'm going to put my bowl over here because we're going to mix some other things together in our glass bowl. Now we're going to mix this stuff up. Do not put it on your mixer on high because that will make it go everywhere. 
So now let's go mix our other ingredients up. Oh, we need to preheat our oven too at 350. Now we need to mix up our oatmeal. And I do not put raisins in my oatmeal cookies, but you could. Uh, we need a half a cup of, no, three cups of oatmeal. I'm using a half a cup mixture. I think that was three cups. Well, I'm going to call it three cups. And we also need, this recipe has a half a cup of coconut. So, and if you had any nuts, you would be um, mixing in a half a cup of nuts or a half a cup of raisins. But I don't have any nuts right now. So, we are just going to be doing a half a cup of coconut in our little mixture and no raisins. No raisins. Do it that way. And then we're going to mix this all together. And then we will be folding this into our cooking mixture. Like I said, hubby don't like raisins in his oatmeal cookies. So it is what it is. You got to do what your family likes. So I'm going to move my bowl over here. And we will be mixing this in real quick. I will be using a pizza pan because to tell you the truth, I bake in a toaster oven and I can't find a cookie sheet that is small enough to uh, fit in the toaster oven. So now we need to drop the cookies onto our pan. Um, it doesn't say how far apart you need them, so, and I'm not a very good dropper, cookie dropper. Um, this is the first time trying this recipe, so we'll just see how this goes. And we need to let these bake for 10 to um, 12 minutes after we get our oven heated up. So we'll see how these are after we get done.